Hello guys, welcome back uh, to my Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. My name is Osena and this is part 16. Last time uh, I said we would do a team review and I did not, so I do apologise for that, so we'll do that now. Excuse me. First up we've got Ollie the Noctowl, okay? This thing is actually better than what I give it a lot of credit for. I'm still waiting for it to learn a... Um, I think it can learn confusion at some point. Um, I do need to double check on that. I'm obviously not going to do it whilst I'm recording. I'll do that off screen. Uh, tackle, Hypnosis, Foresight, and Peck. Its moveset hasn't changed. <coughs> special Attack and Special Defense are through the roof. And it's reasonably quick, as most flying types are. Physically, it's not great. Which, I, which is why I think... Although I don't think there's any special... Apart from maybe Gust. is a special flying type move. So... Maybe that's why I get Psychic moves, probably just to make use of that special attack stat. Anyway, moving down. As soon as I move back across. We have our starter, Pyro the Quilava, and I absolutely love that animation sprite. Um, yeah, it's our starter. He's uh, holding the item Charcoal, which boosts fire-type moves. Uh, obviously, that's why I've given it to him. we got a Quick Attack, which I replaced Tackle with, because Tackle is shit. Leer, Smokescreen, and Ember. Not a great moveset granted, but obviously the more, the further we go along, the better moves we will learn, TMs, etc. Um, again, Special Attack and Special Defense are good. Um, physicals are much better than that of... I'm pretty sure they're better. Oh no, Physical Attack is... Oh no, no they are better. Overall, the Knocked Owl. Uh, speed is the same, so... Yeah, not bad. Joey the Raticate. This guy will not last the entire run through, guys. I've thought a lot about it, and um, he's not going to survive. Unfortunately, I've had a look at his moveset, and despite the fact that he can be TM'd up the Yahtzee like I have done, um, his actual move pool isn't all that great. Um, and despite that there are plenty of... There, there, there are just other Pokemon that I'd like to use. I mean, obviously, I put Swift on it, Mud Slap. Moves it cannot learn um, itself. I'm not sure. I don't remember if it learned Swift. Pretty sure it didn't. Anyway, quick attack and hyperfang. Hyperfang's got a low accuracy, uh, which is why it's such a powerful move. So, Raticate not actually as useful as I was hoping, particularly in this generation, as he doesn't learn bite. You can breed it to have it learn bite. But I have got neither the time nor the patience to actually catch a ditto, breed the Raticate with ditto, and so on and so forth. It, it was always in the back of my mind that um, Raticate would never survive, that Joey would never survive the entire playthrough. Um, but it's something that I've wrestled with, and unfortunately I've decided that as soon as the fourth gym is done, that he um, he will be leaving us. He, I, I won't be releasing him or anything, I'll just go on the PC. Um, but yeah, I mean his physical, physical attack is great. He's obviously a very quick Pokemon as Rattataz and Raticates are known to be. Um, even his specials aren't too bad. Um, but yeah, unfortunately... Unfortunately, I don't think he'll survive. Next up, we've got Mr. Toad the Poliwag. The only Pokemon, apart from the Kenya, the Spearow, that we have in our party that's still in first stage evolution. Um... It's got the moves Bubble, Hypnosis, Water Gun, and Double Slap. Its special attack, as we'll have a look in a minute, isn't great. Its physical attack is much, much better. I mean, look at that speed stat, though. So at the moment, Bubble and Hypno and Water Gun aren't doing it any favours. Obviously, you get Stab, which might just boost it in its favour, but I, I, I need to surf on him, basically, physical type water move. Um, Lily the Weeping Bell. Um... Uh, holding the Miracle Seed. Not a lot to say, really. I didn't want to put Cut on it until it had learned at least one of the powders. I did say in a video, in a previous video, that I don't like putting um, TMs or HMs on Pokemon that haven't got a full four um, move set yet. Um, because I feel like you're wasting your space, despite the fact that the move might be something really powerful, like Flamethrower, but if it hasn't learned like Quick Attack or something, I just feel that it's missing out, and it's forcing me then to get rid of the a different move to what I would have done. Um, but yeah. Um, holding the Miracle Seed to give um, Vine Whip uh, that power boost. It, I mean, technically it should give um, 
sleeping pa sleep powder a bit of a boost as well because obviously sleep powder is a grass move but anyway uh, we've got attack and special attack, attack through the roof as you'd expect uh, from most grass types defenses aren't great his speed is reasonably average oops Anyway, we've got King of the Spirit. This was given to us uh, from a guy who's just outside the gate of Goldenrod, the northern end of Goldenrod. He asked us to do him a favour. He's got a flower mail. We've got to deliver it to that guy who's sleeping um, just outside Violet City. Um, in And then we get an item in exchange. I don't really know. But yeah, I... I mean, we'll see how we go. If it gets to a fear by the time we get to this guy that we're supposed to deliver it to, fine. Um, but yeah, attacking speed, stay right for Spiro. Anyway, I've rambled on for long enough. Oh, you better have something for me. Right. Just look good. Good. Fuck off. Good for you, Gina. Fuck off. Of course, first space, first battle. Anyway. Hmm. Abra. Oh, I've already caught an Abra. I've already caught an Abra. I don't know why I caught an Abra. I'm running. So. Anyway. <gasps> it's a guy for me! Okay. 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 Putting you to sleep. First and foremost. I love Growlithe so much. Growlithe's are awesome. Peck, see how much damage that does. That's a good amount. No, don't! Oh, thank fuck. Just. Let's go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Oh. Growlithe has a move called Roar. We picked up the TM for it earlier. I think I sold it though. And Roar, if you're in a wild battle, it ends the battle. It forces the other Pokemon to flee. And if you're in a trainer battle, it forces you to switch out with, I think it's the Pokemon that's registered last in the party, like in the sixth spot. Um, and I really want to catch Growlithe, so I really need it to be asleep because I don't want it to use Roar and force the battle to end. I'm not going to use it because obviously we've got Aquilava. Yes! But, <clears throat> catching Gravith is always a thing that I do. Um, it, it, it is always a thing I do. I'm never going to use it. Um, so, it doesn't get a nickname. Gravith sent to Bill's PC. Right, off we go. See, I could cut through there and skip out on a whole load of this shit. Um, did you say anything? You should give it a shot. How about you suck my dick? No, the, the, um... Oh, that's such a subdued track. No, this is National Park, guys, where they hold the bug catching contest. Um, I think the, uh, the bug catching contest is a load of shit. Do you give me something? Trainers will always want to battle, that's good. Ah, no, it's you that gives me the quick claw. Come on, must be Pokemon trainers. I don't want you to have this. Quick claw. Quick claw, you can give it to a Pokemon. It does increase the. Wow, that sun is bright. You can see it, like, my face half shredded in light. Sometimes the move will strike first. It's essentially like an ineffective quick attack. Um, if you're using a slow Pokemon, however, like a Slowpoke or a Slowbro or something like that. Ooh, she uses Grass type. That's good, bitch. My Pokemon is simply darling, actually. Are you going to use something like a Jigglypuff? I'm not cool if you're using a Jigglypuff, lady. Snubble. Something shit. 14. Right, okay. I'm going to get a Peck off and then I'm going to switch. Especially now since you use Tail Whip. Okay, so let's go to Pokemans. Let's give Pyro. Let's get Pyro in there. See if all else fails, Pyro is going to be useful in the next gym. 
Um, that's if all else fails. So you scary face. No, I'm all right. I am seven levels above you, so sweet. Drop there one. I can beat you in pride, but oh, ah! Oh. So what can you find with her? Ooh. I think it is just a plethora of bug types in here. Clearly not, that's a Pidgey. Running away. Hello, why are you staring at me? Oh, a battle? No, bitch. I just like staring at women. I do not like staring at women. I'm going to change that right now. Oddish. Good. Oh, that's quite a cool little cute sprite for Oddish. But it's still going to die now. Um, oh, I didn't think it would kill it. So you better than that. You're going to use Absorb. That dolls. That dolls. That does nothing. Yeah, I don't know why. I always wanted to level up the Spearer when you get it. Always, I don't know why. Are you going to learn Fury Attack now, or is that level 15? It is level 13. What else you got for us? Cubone. Definitely playing switches for that. Um, and because I want you to evolve... Oh my god, it's so awesome! I love me. I love Cubone. It's like Sandshrew. That is who I'll probably replace um, Raticate with. Uh, is Mickey the Sandshrew. Um, purely because I think... Oh, shit, I finished my drink. Purely because I think that having a ground type on the team will uh, become incredibly useful, particularly when we get to Kanto. Um, so... I can't remember how you get the e EXP share on this, but... Um, but, yeah, I mean, if I can find that, excuse me. Right, he's going to have, like, he's a male Poke fan or something. Ooh, male, female Nidoran. That could also be very useful. I prefer the male Nidoran. If I can find the male Nidoran. I'm going to run around and find the male Nidoran. I'm going to fight this guy. We adore our Pokemon, even if they dislike us. That's what being a fan is all about. Yeah, it's male Poke fan. So he's gonna have some like he normally has. A, is it a Pikachu that you have? A, oh, fuck! Okay, getting you out of there, Kenya. Going to switch these now. Going to use Lily because you resist electric. For some reason, I don't know why. Oh shit! You know Thunderbolt. You, you, are, um, um, sleep. Sleep. Oh, oh I don't like that graphic. Oh, that's terrible. Right. Vine Whip. Just curious to see how much a Vine Whip does. That's not too bad. You're still fast asleep. If you can stay asleep for the entirety of the battle, that'd be great. Because I do actually have the means to evolve you, maybe. Oh, you bitch! You put an Auron Berry on it. Or a Berry. In this gen, as it's called. Oh, come on. Yes! Aha! I hope haste you, bitch. Oh, God. Yes, your Pokemon. Back off. Are you kid? Uh, no, bye. Oh, how do I get around there? Can I get around there? What do you, what do you say? Okay, bye. Sunkern. Ugh. Evolves into Sunflora. Not a very good Pokemon. Time for you to die. 
I'm not sure how they evolve. They're, they're, they're terrible anyway. God, how do I get my. Oh, I'm just gonna forget about it. If I can run into a male leader, that'd be great. That's female leader, right? Oh, I'm moving up my way, bitch. There's a train there, I think. So <gasps> there it is. Pack it. Fall about though. Come on! Get it low! This shot again low, low oh dear. Damn, I did a lot. Best catch this thing quick. Two. Three. Yes. Diddly diddly doo. Poison pin. It constantly moves its large ears in many directions in order to detect danger right away. So it's Poison pin. Yeah, we'll give it a name. What do I want to call it? I literally don't know what to call this thing. Ah. Uh, Brutus? No. I don't like that name. Just call it Butch. I don't know what to call this thing. D, good lord. Damn it. Sorry about this, guys. I really should. Because of what he'll become. I'd like you all to meet Juggernaut the Nidoran. Right. That took too long, so another trainer fight. Damn it! Only got this time. Oh, you all just kind of had a fucking woodwork now, weren't you? I could kill you, but I'm not going to. What I'm going to do? Get you back at the full. The world of Pokemon is deep. There are still lots of things we don't know, but I know more than you do. I'll bet you all my Pokebucks that you are wrong. Schoolboy Jack, what you got for me? Oddish. Well, there's your first mistake. You sent out a grass type. Oh, I'm gonna send out my flying type. One of my flying types. Lower my evasiveness. See if I give a fuck. 
You're dead anyway. So, YOLO. Who else she got? What else she got? A Voltorb! I... Ah, screw it! Wow, you're level 15. Which means you're gonna outpace me. No! Oh, get in there, Pyro. Fuck you, schoolboy Jack. How do I get to those items? I really want to know. Is there anything? Can I get around the outside here? Around the outside. Around the outside. How do I get to it? I have literally no idea how to get those items. So... There must be a way. But anyway... We will pass through here. There's a tree up here. What you got for me? It's an ice berry. I wonder what that does. Anyway, that will be that will be it for today. We didn't get as much done as what I want. I'm going to move out that guy's eyesight. As much as we wanted to today, whack a save on it. Um, but we did catch a new Pokemon, so there's that, I guess. Um, so yeah, based off of that, um, that has been part 16 of my uh, Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. I'm sorry it was a boring one, guys. Um, I promise that future episodes there will be more to do. Um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And thanks in advance, that really does help me out. Um, I appreciate it very, very much. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you all uh, next time, where we continue to fight trainers. Oh no, we caught po two Pokemon this episode. Where we continue to fight trainers and level up our Pokemans and do some other gnarly cool stuff. Anyway, thanks guys, I will see you again. Alright, cheers, bye.